Right now at 5, the News for Jack's I-Team investigating after another serious crash at one dangerous St. Johns County intersection. Neighbors in the area are voicing safety concerns after the latest crash there overnight, and it left a 35-year-old man dead. That crash happened just after 2 a.m. on St. Johns Parkway, just off State Road 9B that's in North St. Johns. State troopers haven't released the man's name, but they say his vehicle went airborne at the turn and wound up in a water-filled ditch under that pedestrian bridge. That bridge is now closed for repairs. I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci says people want answers and change about what they call a dangerous intersection. Shu Chan walks this path every day. And this intersection scares her. Is this a safe intersection? No, no not safe at all. We met neighbor. I couldn't believe it when I woke up. I was like, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> like another one. After neighbor who tell us the caution tape, the crashes, are all too common. It's just terrible, bad, bad place. I don't even like being here, stand, you know, yeah. talking to you we'll because we'll be, you we'll be part of the news. Yeah. <laughs> so let me give you some perspective. State troopers say that the man who was killed was coming off of State Road 9B right here, just like these vehicles. And normally when we cover a crash like this, we'll see some sort of skid mark, some kind of tire marks in the road, evidence of somebody trying to stop or slow down. That's not the case here. The first evidence that we can see is this torn up concrete curb. And you'll follow it and see the tire marks going across the grass, through the sidewalk, and ultimately into this pedestrian bridge. That's where the man sadly died. We checked with St. Johns County. Their traffic engineers are investigating and looking at the pedestrian bridge, making sure it's safe to reopen. County records show an alarming trend. 10 crashes at the intersection since 2018. Five vehicles have hit the bridge. Three drivers were labeled impaired. And nine out of 10 of those crashes were after dark. After the last serious crash, the county did a study with FDOT and made safety improvements, including five large reflective signs. This afternoon, a county worker was putting a new one in after the crash took another down. The Department of Transportation in an email told us FDOT reviews all reported crashes on state roadways and interstates. A special emphasis is placed on fatalities. If there are improvements that can be made to enhance the safety of the facilities, FDOT will work to implement the improvements. Neighbors we spoke to want to fix now. Just simple lights with blanking lights at the end of this thing will definitely work and some warning lights like a fast approaching curb, you know, things like that, because if you're not familiar with this road, that will happen yeah. and you can't see anything at night. State troopers are still investigating if speed or anything else was a factor. Neighbors tell us they want to see more speed checks here as well. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. We have requested more crash data and records from the Florida Highway Patrol. We will let you know once we get that.